we always wanted to give a product which is having consistent performance whether you ride in eco rush or ride trying this out in a uh, hilly terrain is basically a good confidence for us and understand what exactly is happening in the platform and for the same reason we took the vehicle to a uh, hilly terrain region like uti we are here at uti we started the phase 1 of our testing with the gradient detection algorithm which automatically detects that the vehicle is on an incline and gives the surge of the power momentarily so that the user is able to overcome a gradient of up to 18 degree even in the eco mode we encountered much severe gradient and the indy was able to overcome those very easily ரிச்சி காரே இவர் காலையில் இதில் ஏறும் அது ஹைட்டு ஜாஸ்தி ஆகிது கொண்டு அதில் ட்ரைனிங்கன்னு இங்கே வச்சுக்கிறாங்க அப்போ ரா காலையில் வரும் போகும்போது வரும்போது இதில் தானே போவாங்க வருவாங்க ட்ரைனிங்கு கீழேருந்து வரவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் மேலே ஏற்றம் ஜாஸ்தின்னு சொல்லிட்டு மேலே ஏற்றம் ஜாஸ்தி வந்து கடைக்கிட்டு நின்றுட்டு அப்பான்னு கையில் பிடிச்சி நிற்குவாங்க we expanded the tuning of this algorithm to the terrains with varying gradient condition and turns just like hairpin bends we did the testing with solo the duals and even with the solo plus payload on a city ride we do promise a range of 120 km in the eco mode we did see a drop in the range but it wasn't as significant we only saw a drop of around 10 to 15% which was really good for this platform on that elevation the indy was able to perform at such a high level our phase 2 of the testing high altitude enables us to do the assessment of our regenerative braking system evaluating these aspects become essential for the overall safety and functionality of the vehicle by the end of phase 2 we started our full discharge trials where we were pushing the vehicles to its limits to ensure the robustness of indy in all varying conditions in phase 3 our main focus was to evaluate the overall performance of the vehicle with the main attention given to its thermal system the main reason to go for hilly terrain is to test five aspects of indy so these kind of data sets have actually helped us in tuning our algorithms to a better extent and understanding the limitations of the system and using this data we have fine tuned or added a layer in our algorithms which can tackle a hilly terrain regions and thereby giving very consistent performance even though you run in eco mode or ride mode or rush mode you will be able to climb up the hilly terrain regions with no deviations hello i am ajo i am leader of on road evolution team In my role, I oversee the dedicated group of riders and engineers who work around the clock. So, our primary focus to cover significant distance daily to ensure that durability and functionality of the vehicle in the long term. Part. Our team is providing the real world insights into how the vehicle performs. We collaborate with the various teams. Now, we are actually working with the vehicle architecture teams to validate our vehicle gradient algorithm. It was a really new environment for the vehicle as well as for us. We did see a lot of promising results. We have collected a lot of data which we can use to fine tune these algorithms and make a better data driven decision in the future. We have pushed the Indy to its limits so that we can provide a good user experience. We want to deliver what we promise just not on the spec sheet but in the actual world.